Hello, and welcome to the Daily Orthodox Christian Scripture Reading for the fourth week of Great Lent, Wednesday. The first reading is from Isaiah chapter 26, verse 21, through chapter 27, verse 9. For behold, the Lord is coming forth out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity, and the earth will disclose the blood shed upon her, and will no more cover her slain. In that day, the Lord with his hard and great and strong sword will punish Leviathan, the fleeing serpent, Leviathan, the twisting serpent, and he will slay the dragon that is in the sea. In that day, a pleasant vineyard, sing of it. I, the Lord, am its keeper. Every moment I water it, lest anyone harm it. I guard it night and day. I have no wrath. Would that I had thorns and briars to battle, I would set out against them, I would burn them up together, or let them lay hold of my protection, let them make peace with me, let them make peace with me. In the days to come, Jacob shall take root, Israel shall blossom and put forth shoots, and fill the whole world with fruit. Has he smitten them as he smote those who smote them? Or have they been slain as their slayers were slain? Measure by measure, by exile, thou didst contend with them. He removed them with his fierce blast in the day of the east wind. Therefore, by this, the guilt of Jacob will be expiated, and this will be the full fruit of the removal of his sin, when he makes all the stones of the altars like chalk stones crushed to pieces. No ashram or incense altars will remain standing. The second reading is from Genesis chapter 9, verse 18 through chapter 10, verse 1. The sons of Noah went forth from the ark were Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Ham was the father of Canaan, and these three were the sons of Noah, and from these the whole earth was peopled. Noah was the first tiller of the soil. He planted a vineyard, and he drank of the wine, and became drunk, and lay uncovered in his tent. And Ham, the father of Canaan, saw the nakedness of his father, and told his two brothers outside. Then Shem and Japheth took a garment, laid it upon both their shoulders, and walked backward and covered the nakedness of their father. Their faces turned away, and they did not see their father's nakedness. When Noah awoke from his wine and knew what his youngest son had done to him, he said, Cursed be Canaan, a slave of slaves shall he be to his brothers. He also said, Blessed by the Lord, my God be Shem, and let Canaan be his slave. God enlarge Japheth, and let him dwell in the tents of Shem, and let Canaan be his slave. After the flood, Noah lived 350 years. All the days of Noah were 950 years, and he died. These are the generations of the sons of Noah, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Sons were born to them after the flood. The third reading is from Proverbs chapter 12, verse 23, through chapter 13, verse 9. A prudent man conceals his knowledge, but a fool proclaims their folly. The hand of the diligent will rule, while the slothful will be put to forced labor. Anxiety in a man's heart weighs him down, but a good word makes him glad. A righteous man turns away from evil, but the way of the wicked leads them astray. A slothful man will not catch his prey, but the diligent man will get precious wealth. In the path of righteousness is life, but the way of error leads to death. A wise son hears his father's instructions, but a scoffer does not listen to rebuke. From the fruit of his mouth, a good man eats good, but the desire of the treacherous is for violence. He who guards his mouth preserves his life. He who opens wide his lips comes to ruin. The soul of the sluggard craves and gets nothing, while the soul of the diligent is richly supplied. A righteous man hates falsehood, but a wicked man acts shamefully and disgracefully. Righteousness guards him whose way is upright, but sin overthrows the wicked. One man pretends to be rich, yet has nothing. Another pretends to be poor, yet has great wealth. The ransom of a man's life is his wealth, but a poor man has no means of redemption. The light of the righteous rejoices, but the lamp of the wicked will be put out.
Thank you for listening. Let the brightness of the Lord our God be upon us and direct the works of our hands to do good. See you tomorrow.